Hi everyone, we're here at our beautiful Randwick Centre. We're going to film a lovely little dish called an avocado cannelloni, and it's one of Miguel's favourite dishes. And we're launching the spring menu on the 3rd of September. This is very exciting. This is probably the best centre in the whole entire world. Oh, Come on. It's let's have a look, let's have a look around this Rock place. Rock climbing, <laughs> life saving. We've got all sorts of things. We've got a soccer field over here. And the kitchen is fantastic. This is really, really exciting to be just cooking amongst all the amazing amenities that you can find here. And this is one of my favourite dishes that is very easy to make for everyone at home. And it's got the best things in the world. There is veggies everywhere you look. Okay, what is Jason going to do is get some parsnips. This, this amazing menu, what we have to try and to do is keep the same classics that have been working so well for us, but just trying to vary a little bit with more of the seasonal veggies, more of the grains, more of the really nice things like your favorite, the parsnips. Uh, so they're so, so good for you. We're changing all the sweet potato for parsnips. We're changing the potatoes for parsnips. We're doing all our classics like the potato salads, incorporating these beauties. And what we're trying to do with this cannelloni is make something that looks a million dollars, is make something that nobody else does because this is one of my dishes that has been in my top menus, in my top events. They've been in my TV shows. I have cooked yeah. these in and the, the great, living room The great thing about these is the kids can make them. So the children can get involved in making these. Yeah. It's all about the, it's all about the rice paper, okay? The rice paper, this is rice paper, it's edible. It looks pretty cool and trendy. You can buy these in cake stores. It's really nice. Well, Jason, why don't you open the avocado? Yeah, no so way. what we're going to do is just create a filling. Filling goes first. So we've got a little bit of the chopped parsnip, a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin, just delicious. Nice a hot pan, so it's a little bit of heating here. Make sure before you start cooking, we achieve really nice heat. You see the smoke? So start cooking right away. We don't want to start cooking in a cold pan, so we're not searing the flavors. Now I'm gonna use this amazing device, the microplane, to do all the chopping. Just really thin slices, just really thin slices, like that, beautiful. So this is the filling, okay? So here's a little bit of cauliflower, just grated like cheese, very easily. We've got the parsnips that we're gonna turn into beautiful golden brown with the oil, okay? We're gonna add some flavoring, you can use a little bit of garlic, you can use, a, we got a little bit of garlic, you can use a little bit of ginger, just to get the aromatics happening straight from the microplane, really simple. And what we're going to do is a little bit of ginger as well. And I'm going to start on making a white bean aioli to, to bring our salad together. Okay, and this is a smell already, oh, <laughs> salivating already, okay. We've got some beautiful white beans here, which are, these ones have been straight from the tin. You can also use dried ones and soak them overnight, cook them for about an hour and then Ready, ready to go. Okay, so you're gonna make the aioli. What about you pass me? Pass me a couple of the leaves of the spinach, Jace. Pass me a couple of the leaves of the spinach. It's gonna, just something green, because green is very important. Maybe a couple of them, or you do one, I do another one. Just roll it into a cigar like this, and just chop it, chop it, chop. Very sharp knife, and we're just gonna wilt it. They smell delicious, the garlic, the ginger, everything is happening in the frying pan. The great thing with this, it's all about the seasonal produce, okay? You tell me one center, early learning center in the world that you can turn around like this, check this out and keep filming, and... <laughs> Get run a away. little silver bit. <laughs> Get a little bit of silver bit straight from the ground. There you go, and this is things that children do when this is lunchtime. Things that our chefs do that nobody else does, and that's why our food philosophy is so fantastic and unique. You know, it's all about making the food incorporated as a part of the day. Oh, so absolutely. whatever they do, you know, they're getting excited. They went and pick up the leaf. And the smells, they, they, you know, the children can come off, they can pick the, pick the uh, silver beet, and, and then, you know, help the chef get involved in putting the ingredients together. And then and the best part. The once best the part, part of the it, rolling. Yeah, but once the part, once the part of the meal, they just they feel ownership, and I think they just Absolutely. fall in love with it. And they're more excited about eating, you know, green vegetables and tomatoes oh, this... and parsnips, you know, because they, they've seen it grow. They they've been involved in the whole process. Now with this, okay, when you get part of the process of something, you really want to be eating it. So when I use this, is the canvas, okay? 
the rice paper roll is the canvas. And what is the avocado gonna do? It's gonna be, this is gonna be our cannelloni. So instead of pasta, the avocado and this really nice and delicious, this one, we're gonna overlap, see? All this beautiful, green, luxurious, stunning avocado. Mm -hmm. And don't worry if it breaks a little bit, you know, if don't worry a little bit if you think it's not gonna work. Because the rice paper roll is actually holding. Maybe we're gonna need a little bit more avocado, Jace. Yeah, so we're just gonna that. make a big one. The look of this is gonna be the piece of the resistance. It's gonna change, you know. There you go, look at this, look at this, one second. Look at the overlapping this beautifully. Sweet this off. How are you going with the aioli? Aioli is coming along, we're there in one minute. The great things with all our recipes at Paisley Park, you Quick, just jump, jump in our website and actually see us doing these amazing recipes. So you want to cook something that we have cooked here for your children and they're used to the palate, they're used to the flavors and keep following our food philosophy back at home. It's very, very simple. Okay, thank you, Jason. Now, once we have this amazing, look at this, this amazing consecutive layers of avocado. How is that aioli going? I think that's fine. We're gonna, this is off the heat now. We just need a little bit of salt in there, yeah. just to bring out the flavor. This is off the, the heat thing. now. Okay, in the bowl, we're gonna do the mixing here in the bowl. Let me use that spoon. Okay, the filling could be whatever is good in the garden today. And there's the beautiful silver beads, smell that. Oh, smell the ginger, smell the garlic, stunning. Let's get some of the aioli in there. So it's gonna combine it all together. So this helps just bind it together. Let's mix it up. Maybe we can ch check out the fresh tomatoes in there. Tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, stunning. That's all stunning. That's all stunning. Yeah, here we are. And now it's all about getting the filling. Jason, go. You're going to grab a little small spoon. Can you grab a quickly from the kitchen a small spoon, please? Just quickly mix it all together. So we got green. We want freshness from the tomatoes. We got aromatics from the ginger, aromatics from the garlic. We got this amazing. Check this out. Don't, don't forget about this. Good looking. Amazing cannelloni. And now, all we need to do, you got the little spoon, Jace? Jason is jumping in the kitchen. All the chefs are working hard getting ready for a media lunch. Check this out. Just make sure you put that right in the middle. Okay, so that's the filling. And this is, your, once again, you can use whatever you like the most. Doesn't have to be parsnips. You can be using beetroots instead or the different greens and... And the great thing about dishes like this is when the children get involved in constructing it, it's great for their fine motor and gross motor skills. And yeah, it doesn't matter if they make a mess, but you know, and also because they're handling the food, they become more familiar with it and you know, really want to enjoy it. Oh, Jason, this is going to be... I can't wait. Seriously. Oh, wait Check this out. You see the paper? It's helping us to roll it, okay? So now you can do a squeeze of lemon. Okay. Here, let me show you so this way so you can actually see it. Trying to give the filling inside. And just let the paper... You see, you don't have to be an expert to do this. The paper is edible, okay? So this is pretty much like doing a sushi roll. <laughs> times, a million times better. Just keep rolling around, and the excess of the paper is what you don't need to use. You can cut with the knife. Oh, this is just amazing. You know, every time I do one of these ones, just squeeze with your fingers, just soft and delicate. And every time you do one of them, you use a really sharp knife to cut through the side. Every time you do one of these ones, and you weigh, and you still see all the amazing green layers of avocado, just getting the moisture through the paper. Oh, Chase, look at mm. this. It's gonna <laughs> be so believe, good. Can you believe, can you believe that this is food your children is gonna be eating in our centers? This could be part of a five course in an amazing restaurant around Absolutely. the world. And you know, I think we should try one. I, I think, think so. we should less chat chat and more chat chat because with one of these, the proof is in the pudding. So the best way to know it is delicious and to taste them. Okay, Jay, is that one for you? One for me. Look at this. Look at this, look at this. And this one for me. Well, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. 
Yeah, awesome. No, it melts children, children are going to love it and so Not much rice. flavour. You know, great beans for, for protein, vegetarian for some of our children that, that, that um, can't have certain ingredients. Fantastic. That is, that mm. is well done, James. Good job. Okay, and this will be in our menu. And we have much more delicious recipes like that. All you have to do is jump in the website. Come and say hello one day to Runway if you want to. Absolutely, stop in. Just taste the food. See you later. Cheers, bye. Look what is this, look at this. <laughs> Looks awesome.